Good evening. Hello. It's truly wonderful to see everybody here. I'm Greg Partain, professor of music, and uh, whether you're watching online or sitting right here in person, uh, I welcome you to what I know is going to be a fun evening of really terrific music making. And this is our first Smith Series live event since fall 2019. So, so Transylvania's Smith Concert Series owes its very existence to the generous Dorothy K. Smith, who graduated from Trancy in the 1940s, along with her husband Fred. And following Dorothy's vision to bring musicians of the highest caliber to this stage, for 15 years, 15 seasons, we've done exactly that. Uh, we've brought musicians of international and national renown uh, tonight, though, we're, bringing, we're aiming just as high as always, but we're bringing in someone who is a homegrown talent. So we are very proud to present Ben Sali, a Kentucky native, and his group, which includes musicians from all over the country, called Kentucky Native. So. <clears throat> Sali is a graduate of the University of Louisville School of Music, and he lives in Louisville. Uh, for 20 years, he has toured the globe as a cellist, songwriter, singer, and storyteller. And he has created music for the stage and the screen and virtual reality apps, often blurring the lines between music and technology. He won an Emmy Award in 2018 for creating the score for the ABC special Bass Ballet. Sully formed Kentucky Native in 2017 as an out-of-the-box bluegrass fusion band. Now, I don't know what that means, <laughs> but I know that I like the music very much, and I'm sure you will too. Uh, he's also known for his environmental and social advocacy. Uh, he works with organizations like the Kentucky Conservancy, um, Oxfam America, and Canopy Kentucky. And tomorrow he's going to spend the day as our visiting Del Camp musician, uh, meeting with students, visiting classes, and also presenting a workshop that I'd like to make a special uh, pitch for, for any students, including non-musicians, who are interested to learn about how music can amplify a message uh, with social um, activism. So that's at two o'clock in Carrick Theater, right behind me. So tonight's set will be about 75 minutes long, performed without intermission, and I'm told that we are welcome to take photographs and video as long as we don't use flash. And finally, I'm going to mention, if you didn't notice it when you walked in, there is a table of merchandise for sale, so I encourage you to check that out after the concert. Um, we're glad you're here. We hope you enjoy the concert. So let's, let's get going with it. <laughs> Thank you. Well, well, I love you too. It's good to see y'all. Very happy to be back in my hometown, Lexington. Grew up just down the road behind the Continental Inn when that used to be there. Let's do this, fellas. That's not Carry Bell, don't you weep? Carry Bell, don't moan. Don't you hate? Well, I'd pawn my watch and I'd pawn my jeans. Yes, I'd pawn my diamond ring. Carry 
Carry Bell, don't you weep. Carry Bell, don't mourn. Don't you hang your head and cry. Ooh, I ain't gonna hurt nobody. No, no. I ain't gonna hurt nobody. I'm just trying to Thank you so much. Give it up for Kentucky Native. We are absolutely thrilled to be back together. This is our first show playing together since mm, very early 2019. And we're happy to be reuniting here in my hometown. And uh, we're going to play a lot of original music for you, a couple little sneaky covers. And we got a special guest for you a little bit later. But at the moment, the song called Something Somewhere Sometime comes to mind often when I think about how slippery time has been over the last two years. Well, sometimes I feel like an arrow fighting something somewhere long ago. Whether it moved or I missed where I'm bound, I don't yet know. But if you see me coming, oh, I'll probably pass you by on my way to something, somewhere, sometime. Sometimes I find myself reeling, listening and rolling in a plastic sea. Yes, there's signs and signals bidding for attention from me. So turn on your city, oh, and I will turn on mine. And we'll hum and glow like something somewhere sometime. Oh, and if I wounded you, I'm sorry, I had good intentions. And if I wounded you, I'm sorry, Lord. You remind me of a reason Yes, how about someone so many years ago To send words through wires and build highways from coast to coast But your words fell short on your old tap on with time On our way to something somewhere sometime Oh, and if I wounded you Sorry, Lord, I had good intentions. And if I wounded you, I'm sorry, Lord. Oh, because it happens, it happens all the time.
Sometimes I feel like an arrow who had by someone so many years ago. That's Bennett Sullivan on the banjo. Julian Pinelli on the fiddle. And this is my cello, Kay. Kay, this is everyone. Everyone? Hi, Kay. Kay and I uh, met years ago on eBay. She's, uh, she was $200. She's very much like the cello that I started playing in public schools. Yay, public schools. <laughs> Yates Elementary. That's where I went to. Yeah, Yates. You got it. And uh, Kay and I have been all over the world together. We've you know, traveled by plane, train, and automobile all through the world. We've played shows in Lawrence, Kansas, and Lhasa, Tibet. Um, we have done tours by bicycle, where she's ridden on the side of the bicycle with me. We call those Ditch the Van tours. Um, we've hiked part of the Appalachian Trail, the Pacific Crest Trail, a portion of the Great Wall of China together. We've done a lot of stuff, and you can probably tell. <laughs> she looks the part, but... She's uh, uh, you know, been a really good companion. And not too long ago, we got off a train in Brooklyn, New York. And there was a fellow busking on the train platform. He had a banjo on his knee, sitting on a suitcase, kicking the crap out of it. And he was singing his songs as the trains came in and rolled out. And they had this incredible momentum to them, the songs. And I stood there and listened, and I was just blown away. He's just singing his guts out. And, I said, man, where are you from? He said, oh, well, I'm from, I'm from West Virginia, but I don't live there anymore. I was like, dude, I'm from Kentucky. We're like neighbors. And he said, uh-huh. <laughs> well, where do you live now? I said, he said, well, I live on the trains. What do you mean you live on the trains? And he said, well, when I was 15 years old, I got tired of living in West Virginia. So I hopped on a coal train, and I've been hopping trains ever since. What's that like? And he told me about the kings and queens, the dogs that they traveled with, the salt guns the warden shot them with. And so I said, man, well, if you ever make it down to Kentucky, look me up. And I thought that'd be the last of it, but he did make it down to Kentucky, and he did look me up. And we sat on our back porch over on Tremont Avenue and wrote this song together. It's called Captivity. Well, the heat of my brain turns the iron balls around me to dust. Ooh, but when I come to my senses, it's a winter's day and there's just a little rust. And I'm walking through the revolving doors in my mind. Whoa, but no matter how hard I try, I can't seem to get out the other side. Cause everywhere I look is looking back I'm a holy man in a stained glass cathedral Oh, but when I look in the mirror all I see is cinder blocks and stainless steel Yeah, yes And I got eight tailored suits waiting for me when I get back home Oh, Lord, if I ever get back home Cause everywhere I look is looking back to where I'm looking when I get back to where I'm looking to go. Oh, you can hold me captive for all these things I've done. But I'm quite sure by now, this ain't the only race I'm gonna run. She said she could never forget the look in my eyes. It's a misfortunate fortune that I'm in here, but at least I'm still alive. And I once knew a man who traveled by the whistles, eh? It's been 40 years now, and I just need someone to know my name. Yeah, yes. And I sprint towards freedom. How else would you move that way? But I ain't 
as fast as I used to be And the dogs are catching up But I'm gonna die the way So I might as well die trying Yes, yes Cause everywhere I look is looking back To where I'm looking when I get back To where I'm looking Yes, everywhere I look is looking back To where I'm looking when I get back To where I'm looking Yes, everywhere I look is looking back To where I'm looking when I get back To where I'm looking So one of my early musical mentors was my grandfather, Elvis Henry Cordelius. Super cool name. And he would teach me fiddle tunes on what he called my bull fiddle. Mm -hmm. Y'all can call it a bull fiddle if you want. If cello feels too long hair to you. And he would teach me all sorts of old tunes. So I'd come home from studying all my classics during the week and then go stay the weekends with him and learn old time fiddle tunes. And one of the things he encouraged me to do was to play with the tuning of my cello. Do what's called cross tuning. Which is not something that the classical world calls it scordatura. <laughs> but he called it cross fiddling. So this is a tune that I wrote that is in this sort of cross tuny drony land called Presence, and then heading into a fiddle tune that I wrote called Hold Out Speed Breaker. <laughs> bottom of the pool looking up at the rippling sky down here it is quiet down here I don't have to try to fix it all but I can't hold my breath all the time typing on the keys and talking to a screen I subscribe to the whole world, every profile, every news feed, as hard as I try. Mm, I just can't care enough. The dogs of the highway are tied to the front porch gate. They are growling like a am growling like an engine break in this small town. That's when I know that I can't stay. Traveling due west, setting sun and miles, trying to prove to myself that I don't need all these wiles. But when I look the future straight in his eyes, I shiver at the sight, cause even he is blind and can't fix it all. He's just trying to get by the dead little lie. What's it take to get alive? Gonna smoke my grandpa's pipe just to see myself breathe, just to feel myself breathe, just to see myself
musical adventure, Ferry, uh, showcasing Jordan Ellis on the drums. As I mentioned, I, I picked up the cello when I was nine years old in public schools. Can we just have a moment to celebrate all the incredible teachers, administrators who, like, made it happen? It was one of those situations where my teacher came through this, uh, the door with, like, a petting zoo of instruments. And she said, all right, you can... You can play these instruments in fourth grade orchestra. This is what a violin sounds like. She played some violin for us. And this is what a viola sounds like. She played a little viola. Any viola players? Yeah, just, you know, it's all, there's only one or two. <laughs> and then she said classes is a cello. You can learn to play in fourth grade orchestra. And this is what it sounds like. It was the first sound I heard out of the instrument in person. <laughs> now... I don't know what you were into in third grade, but <laughs> bodily noises were my thing. So I went home to mom and dad, and I said, there's this instrument. It's called the cello. It makes really cool noises. Can I play it? And they said, sure. And so I showed up at school ready to make all sorts of nasty noises. And the teacher steered us rightly to play some beautiful classical music. And then I brought my instrument home. I had a very musical family. Mama sang. Dad was an R&B guitar player, and he would teach me old tunes like, uh, right? I play this on the cello, and people bob their heads. Sometimes they snap along. Every once in a while, you can hear him hum in the back. And then I go back to school. to hanging out with dad. I had two very separate lives, my school life and my social life, and that was all right. And I started writing my own songs to try to bridge the gap between those two. And I went for my roots in R&B. And uh, this tune's called How to See the Sunrise. Pretty good example of that. Take us away, Sam. <laughs> Well, teach me, baby. Whoa, whoa, Lord, yes, a little show and tell. Yes, child. How to keep from loving you. Yes, yes, yes. What well, should I fit in my heart, baby? Lord, keep it in the shade. I give it all the fruit it could want, except yours. Lord, accept yours. Teach me, baby. Whoa, one more time. Just exactly how far you are away. So I start walking now, baby. Oh, Lord, I'll wait another day. Yeah. You know I don't need love. Yes, I find, yes, I find, yes, I find my way. Yes, teach me, baby. <laughs> oh, I promise I get it. I promise I get it this time, this time. How to hold a bird in my hand and watch it grow. Lord, watch it grow. See those feathers bloom. But 
Don't let it fly. Don't let it fly. Even though, oh, oh, that's what it's supposed to do. Hard to see the sun rise in the dead of night. Cause that's how it feels, baby. Yes, that's how it feels, baby. But you don't feel that way, do you? You don't feel that way, do you, baby? I said you don't feel that way, do you, baby? <laughs> Don't feel that way to you, baby. You don't feel that way to you, baby. No, 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 Thank you so much. Get up for Sam Howard on the bass. Yeah. All right, here's a tune about a Kentucky girl that I chased out to California. It didn't work out. <laughs> Well, a robin flew by my window I thought it just might be you Judging from the color of its breast and the sound of its song But I'm, I'm just thinking of you Cause you're in sunny California The fertile land, John Steinbeck Road Oh, but when I came, not a single fertile patch could be spared of oh, you and me You see, I wanted to love you, baby Held you high enough. The truth is, I couldn't hold you up at all. Mm, couldn't hold you up. Couldn't
couldn't hold you up. And I sure ain't gonna hold you down. Come on, boys. Walking back home, I don't care if it takes years or more. Lord, but as I walk through the hills of Kentucky, the leaves begin to turn red, and I think of you. Yes, I think of you. The pretty tree on the mountain Well, a robin flew by my window I thought it just might be you Judging from the color of its breast and the sound of his song, but I was just a thinking of you. Yeah. <laughs> cooking along, cooking along. How y'all feeling out there? Man, humans. Humans. We're so, we're like, we're so beautiful and caring and taking care of each other, and we also carry that around with us a lot. I know that I do. I mean, come by it naturally. I have a very quick pen, but <laughs> I uh, also think that, you know, many of us do. It's just part of our human nature to look ahead and bring that to now and drag things from the past and bring them to now. And uh, the songs for, for all y'all that do that, <laughs> which is all of us. It's called Lay It Down. Uh, I don't remember how we kicked this. Huh? <laughs> remember when I said this is the first time we played this band in a while? It's uh, Jordan, you start it. There it is. Welcome. We're in our living room together. Big, big living room, fancy lights, fancy uh, microphones, but I'm delivering them nonetheless. I changed the key, shit. <laughs> it's in D, hang on. I could have tried to sing it. Walking down the street on a cool spring day, nowhere to be, but I still feel late. It sounds fine until you get to the chorus. <laughs> I was walking down the street on a cool spring day Nowhere to be but I still feel late I check my watch and it's a ticking fine So how come I feel like I'm falling behind? You got real humans in front of y'all 
So I pull out my phone to check the news. I scroll through my feed and I waste a few things to want, things to buy. A bushel of mist cloud my mind. Lay down, lay down your worries. Yes, rest your yearning mind. There's far too much to carry. Lay down. Lay down. Hey. When I called up a friend in Kalamazoo, she was working from home, burnt out and blue, looking for love from her office chair, like trying to win a prize at the old state fair. She said, I'm worried for me. I'm word for you, I'm word for the many, I'm word for the few. I used to be a small town girl, and now I'm just a pixel in a big screen world. Lay down, lay down your worries. Oh, rest your yearning mind. There's far too much to carry. Lay down, lay down. Walking down the street on a cool spring day I know where to be but I still feel late I check my watch and it's a ticking fine Let the whole damn world just rush on by Lay down Yes, lay down your worries This you yearn in my yearn in my This far See, this is a great example. Whatever just happened back there, leave it back there. Just lay it down. Lay it down. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm very excited. You know, uh, late last year, I was invited with um, uh, Krimina and Kurt to um, submit a proposal for the Kentucky State COVID Memorial. And as part of that project, I was introduced to a fantastic mariachi musician, <laughs> as is the way of Kentucky. And... Uh, we never really got to play together, so I was like, I'm coming to Lexington. You want to you wanna play some? And he said, sure. And so I'm very excited to uh, invite, hang on, I'm going to get this right, Hinaro Rascon to the stage. I'm really glad that that last song worked out eventually because this next song that we uh, are going to do, they learned it this afternoon. <laughs> so, the most. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad you guys ended up on something solid to go in to this one. Hi, everybody. My name is Genaro Rascon, and uh, I'm really, really proud to be here with you guys tonight. Uh, like, like Ben said, we met because uh, 
Kremena Todorova and Kurt Goad invited us both to participate and contribute in this COVID-19 memorial. And we were both looking forward to collaborating with each other. And, uh, you know, it never, it, it ended up falling through. We never got to work together until about a month ago, Ben, you know, sent me a message and asked me if I'd like to contribute on this. And he told me what song he wanted me to play. And he laid it all out for me, being the consummate professional that he is. And I was like, absolutely, that sounds fantastic. And then two days ago, he messaged me again. He was like, hey, man, just uh, checking up with you. We're going to meet on Thursday, right? And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> totally. Uh, I, I learned the song and everything. Uh, yes. Remind me um, when and where and... Anyway, long story short, I'm here. Uh, I canceled one of my classes to be here, so you guys are all getting the benefit of that. And I want to thank Ben again for inviting me. And let's have another round of applause for Ben and Kentucky Natives. So I'm kind of rambling on. I didn't, I didn't uh, rehearse what I was going to say here tonight. But as Ben said, I'm a mariachi musician. I teach over at Berea College, and we're Kentucky's only. Thank you. Uh, we're Kentucky's only uh, academic mariachi ensemble, and uh, I came here from California with specifically with the goal to bring mariachi to Kentucky. So that, with that in mind, uh, Ben asked me if I would like to sing a song for you guys. And I was like, really? Today? Like on no notice? And he was like, yeah, we could do it. <laughs> I was like, okay. So we're going to play a, a, one of my favorite songs for you. The song is called Urge. And I've never not done it with a mariachi, so we're gonna kind of do a, like a mariachi Appalachian fusion for you tonight of this song. I hope that you guys enjoy it. It's probably covered by my set list. There it is, hidden.
los brazos a quien contarle de mis triunfos y fracasos que me perdona y que me quite de su coffee alone down on the lower east side yes it was late in the morning when she caught my eye she was bobbing and weaving and spinning through the streets in a cut off jeans Ooh, turning heads of the boys and the girls like some movie scene yeah she's got those long legs thick skis it's a mechanical advantage Long legs, big skis, it's a mechanical advantage on me, oh my, on me. slowed down a clock unwound and for a moment time was caged lord if everything is relative this must be the place she had her red shoes on tattoos on her arms pedaling a steel look frame Ooh, the wind in her hair and he just smile on her face yeah she's got those long legs big skis it's a mechanical advantage Long legs, oh, big skis, it's a mechanical advantage on me, oh my, on me. Ooh, like most things, it couldn't last, time only stretches so far. She turned the corner at Avenue A without a look. Or a glass my way, yeah. Wonder if I'd even cared Had she been sitting on a park bench by herself in the square Well maybe beauty is best seen in motion An opal sky at sunset, a wave crashing in the ocean Yes, but I can't help myself, I can look away It's a mechanical advantage Long legs, oh, fixed gears, it's a mechanical advantage on me, on oh my, on me. Like a star that can't wait for the night Ooh, I hope I ain't blinded, baby Why can't I see you tonight? Oh, and the warmth of your smile starts to burn And the thrill of your touch starts to fry Ooh, I hope I ain't blinded, baby Why can't I see you tonight? Oh,
a mechanical, it's a mechanical, it's a mechanical, it's a mechanical, it's a mechanical. Oh, long legs, long legs, oh, fixed gears, oh, baby. I said, oh, my, oh, me, oh, my, oh, me, oh, my. And now let's go on. Keep an eye out for him around town. I know we're sad to see him go too. Sad. Can only learn so much new music. I always feel called to play this song in town because it um, hopefully honors a, uh, a local artist by the name of Louis Zoeller Bickett. Anybody meet Louis over the years? Oh man, what a what a wonderful fella! Um, inspiring in a lot of ways. I met him through um, Philip March Jones over at Institute 193. If you haven't had a check chance to check out Institute 193, it's over on Limestone. It's one of the the great treasures of not just Kentucky but the South. Um, because they provide a platform for visual artists and otherwise um, to get their work out there in the world in a, in a truly professional, international way. So definitely check out Institute 193. It's a hidden treasure here. Hopefully make it a little less hidden. <laughs> but Louis uh, famously worked on a, on a piece of artwork for 40 years called The Archive. And The Archive was a collection of things, objects that meant something to him, things like teddy bears from past lovers, old prescriptions, and jars of dirt and water from places that he'd visited, um, 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 trash from Beverly Hills. All of these things carefully, you know, uh, cataloged, labeled, and displayed in his home over on Limestone. And to walk in that place, anybody get to go in his home and see the archive? No? Yeah, you did, right? It's, it was a little overwhelming. Right? It's a lot of stuff over 40 years. But um, once you got to looking at everything and seeing the tags with all their little markings, you realize that, you know, all of these things have no inherent value, right? They, they were precious because of they were tied to a, a memory or an experience that he'd had. And, of course, that's how us humans work, right? Like, we, we tend to care about things that we have an intimate connection to, and we tend to protect the things that we care about, whether that's a, an old teddy bear or a mountaintop. Right, and uh, I just thought it was such a powerful, powerful message to give all of these objects, you know, the gravity that that uh, they deserve, at least in his life, if not many of our lives. And when he um, got a diagnosis of Lou Gehrig's disease and was passing on from the world, I was thinking about what's going to happen to the archive? Is it going to get sold? Is it going to get, um, you know, traded over to his partner? Like, what what's going to happen to it? It's going to get broken up. And so in thinking of that, uh, this song came out. And of course, since then, we've all rolled ourselves down the hill of life. And many things have come to bear. And uh, I think it's gathered more meaning. It's called Pieces of You. Well, I wish I could keep every piece of you. All the lies and the truths, all the trophies from your youth, and the phone you used to call me on. I would put each one up on the shelf just to be close to you.
Well, I wrote your name on the empty bottle of wine. All the kisses and the fights, our first Christmas lights, the silver cone for your sure black hair. I would put each one in its very own box just to have you near to me. Some people just see a pile of junk. They don't know that it's pieces, pieces of you. Pieces of you. I trade them all just to have you here by my side. Hear you laugh one more time, feel your hand holding mine, see that hungry look in your eyes. I would hide your keys so you couldn't try. Then you'd still be here with me. Some people just see a pile of junk. They don't know that it's pieces, pieces of you. Mm, pieces of you. so much. As we were being creative about how to get into this tour and sharing music back and forth, my friend on the bass here sent over a tune. He's like, hey guys, would you be willing to uh, help pull this tune together? And it's a, it's a beautiful tune that I'll let him tell you about. Please welcome Sam Howard. So uh, early on, uh, right, right after things kind of shut down, I uh, had on my list to build this giant fence in our backyard and uh, took it upon myself to do a work that is um, well meant for a crew. Uh, and in the process, I, I blew out my knee completely. Uh, but I couldn't get in to see a doctor, um, only over only over telemedicine, and I uh, I received a misdiagnosis that I had a muscle wasting disease, um, which looking back is like, man, I'm lucky I didn't have that. But at the time, um, after kind of reading up on it and freaking myself out, um, I was afraid that I would a never walk again and b lose my ability to play music. So I wanted to try and write music that would. Um, the music I'd want to write if I never got a chance to play music again. And um, this is a song called uh, Swallowtail. I wrote it while I was looking out my window at the abelias and watching the uh, migratory butterflies come through. <laughs> Spread your wings and 
take to the sky Swallow tail Swallow tail Spread your wings Take to the sky Swallow tail Swallow tail Looking down at the world Passing by Take the nectar you need And fly Spread your wings and take to the sky. Swallow tail, swallow tail. Spread your wings, take to the sky. Swallow tail, swallow tail. Mark on the earth or the sky. Set your course by the wind and fly. That's Sam Howard, another beautiful human. If you look hard enough, there's all kinds of beautiful humans hanging out around, including this next one. I want. I gotta remember the words of this sucker. It's been a sec since I sung it. She had lost her way but didn't know it at the time. Shifting in a seat in the pharmacy line. After the wreck, a few pills to ease the pain. Now she's writing the prescriptions in other people's names. She's my two-tone gal. She's up and she's down. One second she's in love and then she's kicking you out. She leave you at the bar on the wrong side of town. Then she pick you up later in a wedding gown. She is my two-tone gal. Made 
made some friends at the church, then she stole their tithe. The good Lord wouldn't let her lose this house. It can be mean as a snake, as sweet as a pie. She's got a good heart, you know, but she's a sick in the mind. She is my two-tone gal. She's up and she's down. One second she's in love and then she's kicking you out. she leave you at the bar on the wrong side of town. Then she'll pick you up later in the wedding gown. She is my two-tone gal. to admit I can see just how I feel the same way about the world right now and when I need a little something to get through the day I play some music and it's all okay she is my two-tone gal she's up and she's down one second she's in love and then she's kicking you out she'll leave you at the bar on the wrong side of town then she'll pick you up later in a wedding gown she is my two-tone gal She's my two-tone gal She is my two-tone gal Ooh, she is my, my two-tone, my two-tone All right, we got one more tune for you all. Hope you've enjoyed the evening. Thank you so much for welcoming me back into my hometown. Playing banjo for you tonight, we got Bennett Sullivan. You just heard this fine feller sing behind me, Sam Howard on the bass. And this tall, handsome fellow to my right, Julian Pinelli. Playing the drums for you tonight, my longtime friend, collaborator, and instigator, Jordan Ellis. My name is Ben Soli. This is Kentucky Native, and we'll see y'all next time. Well, late in the summer, I came in in this rain. Didn't have a number, didn't have a name. And then came the camera. And the preacher man to pray for Louisiana all over again. Yes, it flood their house just the same, and it wrecked their cars just the same, and it stole their dreams just the same. A storm is a storm by any other name. Call out the Navy, Cajun Navy. Yes, the good old boys and girls are at it again. The storm is a rager. Just in the kitchen, I said that they won't let you down. Call it a deluge, a thousand year rain, but to save the sirens for the hurricanes, I pack all your memories in the kiddie pool. Paddling down the streets of Baton Rouge Yes, it flood their house
Just the same. And it wrecked their cars. Just the same. And it stole their dreams. Just the same. It's a storm, it's a storm by any of the name. Call out the neighbor. Cajun Navy. Yes, the good old boys and girls are at it again. When the storm is a raging, just in the kitchen, I said that they won't let you down. Call out the neighbor, Cajun Navy. Yes, the good old boys and girls are at it again. When the storm is a raging, trust in the kitchen. Oh, they won't let you down. No, they won't let you down. They won't let you down. Come on, boy.
Thank you all so much. We had a great time. We'll see you next time. Love you, Lexington.